Uh, thank you, uh, Debbie, and thank you for the invitation. And uh, um, I agree with the, the previous speakers that we, to increase the uh, seafood consumption uh, in the UK, we need to have the consumer with us on a story. And that's what we, uh, uh, the Norwegian Seafood Council in the UK, are working with every day. And let us um, show you how we, uh, we believe uh, that the consumer should be a part of this story. After uh, when I came to the UK uh, uh, one year ago, uh, it was quite easy to see that the storytelling uh, around the seafood in the UK is uh, is not good enough, uh, and especially in retail, uh, a lot more uh, can be done. Therefore, uh, uh, seafood from Norway uh, is going to be a trustworthy story uh, that connects the consumer to. Uh, the, the fishermen, uh, the catching sector, and the, and the agriculture industry. So, uh, um, why on earth would so humans settle in this in hospital places? Many good reasons to live in Norway, but uh, the w number one reasons, uh, reason that why the Norwegians settle in Norway is because of the natural resources and, and, and the fish. Um, It's perfect for fish, uh, and that's the story. Uh, the seafood from Norway, you can trust uh, uh, where it comes from, uh, the tr transparency uh, and the sustainability around, uh, around the story. Um, seafood uh, uh, is an excellent produce, uh, but it's also something more. It's about uh, uh, that origin uh, is important. You have to trust the product where it comes from. Uh, people are important. Uh, handcraftsmanship is important. So it's the story around this. It's, uh, you have to trust uh, the fisherman. You have to trust how the fish is uh, handled uh, when it comes to land. Uh, and uh, you have to trust the handcraftsmanship around uh, uh, this and the the uh, fishermen and the um, the, um, the seafood industry in Norway has been doing this for a generation, and uh, therefore uh, the quality uh, uh, and the trustworthiness is so uh, uh, so good. Uh, Norway. Um, we are probably uh, this year reaching the uh, 10 uh, billion pound mark in export of seafood uh, from Norway to 140 countries, uh, 2.6 million metric tons, and we export 36 million meals uh, every day, and that's good for a country with 5 million people. About uh, uh, 550 million uh, uh, is the export uh, to the UK, uh, uh, and that makes it one of the most important uh, markets, uh, both for uh, whitefish and also for uh, salmon. Um, the Norwegian uh, frozen at sea uh, cotton haddock uh, is very important for uh, the industry here in the Grimsby area, both the uh, the uh, 
uh, frozen sea filleted uh, 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 cotton haddock, uh, but also the uh, HG headed and, uh, and gutted. Um, and uh, the Brits are the number one consumers of uh, Norwegian cod and haddock. About uh, uh, 120,000 tons comes into uh, the UK every year with uh, Norwegian uh, cod and haddock. But uh, uh, a lot of the consumers, all uh, uh, data we have, uh, show that most of the consumers don't know where the fish comes from. Uh, and uh, often uh, believe it's uh, British. Um, and 33% um, of the total cod and haddock in the UK comes from Norway. And we believe that origin is important uh, to build this uh, trustworthy story around uh, 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 this important uh, dish in, in, in the British homes. So, Origin is important, and UK retail should focus more on the importance of origin to give uh, consumers a choice. Consumers should have a real choice uh, when they are in, uh, in the retail counters, and, and they can choose uh, uh, after uh, the parameters that they uh, believe are important uh, when they are choosing uh, uh, choosing uh, uh, a, a, a dish. So, uh, the uh, Norwegian uh, frozen at sea uh, is uh, consistently high quality and uh, sustainable uh, FAS whitefish for nearly 70 years. Cotton haddock are frozen at sea to below 20 degrees on board of some of the finest fishing vessels within hours of being caught. Three to six hours from, from, from the catch uh, to uh, it's frozen. Um, sustainability is the fundamental principle of the frozen sea fisheries management, uh, approved by ISIS and MSC, and Norwegian mem uh, vessels are also the members of the frozen sea fillets association. Um, and um, the um, frozen at sea uh, fillets are as fresh as our cold and clear waters. And there are many different cold and haddock products available, uh, including FAS H and G fish, brock products ready to eat, uh, interleaved fillets, fresh loins on ice, available skinless and boneless, fully iced, seasonal spray, uh, January to April. Um, and uh, this can be purchased in, uh, in many different sizes. And uh, uh, as a, uh, one of the most important um, uh, um, uh, um, uh, things uh, uh, that for Norwegian fisheries are the uh, sustainable fisheries management. And uh, we have been pioneers in management and regulation to, uh, diverse, uh, uh, to, to our diverse fishing fleets. Uh, everything we do uh, has sustainability as, uh, at its heart. And um, the relationship with the sea, and as I say, uh, as the story from the fisherman to the consumer, this, the relationship with the sea is a partnership one is crucial to the health of the nation, economically, culturally, and physically. So sustainability is something we can't uh, play with. It's very important. Uh, and this is something the, the consumer uh, uh, also, I think, will be, it will be more and more important for, for, uh, for consumers to uh, eat sustainable. Um, from free fishing to strict regulation, I've said something about this, but uh, Norway has a, a discard ban. Uh, no, nothing is thrown uh, uh, overboard. Everything is processed or taken to land. Uh, and um, uh, Norway was the first country to implement a quota system. Uh, and species quota are annually negotiated 
negotiated internationally based on research by ISIS. Uh, fishermen who exceed the quota are penalized, receiving only 20% of the value of the over quota fish. And Norway was also the first country to introduce and operate a traceability scheme whereby all seafood must be certified from catch to caterer. And uh, this is uh, something to uh, be proud of. In 2011, our final wild caught and haddock fisheries was certified and as uh, sustainable by uh, the MSC. So uh, a partnership uh, with uh, the MSC is uh, very important. And also we see that MSC labeling is uh, extremely important in UK retail. Um, this is uh, a very good uh, document, this Seafood 2040 strategy, and uh, several speakers have talked about uh, how to do consumer innovation, and uh, Seafish uh, uh, talked about Seafood Week, uh, and I saw that Seafish uh, and others did a lot of good work uh, during Seafood Week. Seafood Week a couple of weeks ago, and we also did a lot of uh, good activities. Uh, and that is activities uh, that I, I believe uh, uh, helps uh, people to choose uh, seafood as a preferred uh, dish, uh, and this can be uh, developed in, in the coming years. But uh, uh, Seafood 2040, to uh, double uh, the seafood consumption in the UK within 2040, that is a very good strategy, and, and Seafood from Norway want to be uh, one of the most important partners with Seafish and the UK government and the industry to reach that goal. Uh, some of the several speakers have uh, been speaking on this issue, but this, uh, this, uh, this will be a challenge uh, at one point, uh, and hopefully uh, we together and the British government uh, 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 will uh, find a solution to that. We'll see what happens now uh, in the negotiations. Uh, but um, if uh, we on the 30th of March next year have a hard Brexit, that will be a, a, a very demanding situation for, for everyone in this room. Uh, and it's now very important uh, that importers and exporters uh, speak uh, very thorough on this issue uh, to keep uh, the logistics lines open. So, um, um, uh, we, um, we uh, hope that uh, the British government uh, will do whatever they can to keep uh, the, the borders open uh, in, in case of a hard Brexit. Uh, and um, um, uh, if, if not, I think we will have a, a catastrophe in, in a short time. But other speakers have talked a lot about uh, uh, implications of Brexit.
So, uh, this film was to show uh, the responsibility uh, that the Norwegian seafood uh, industry uh, and the fishermen takes uh, uh, in sustainability and how important that is to, to keep uh, fisheries as an important uh, industry for Norway uh, in the future and uh, that we also will be a able to uh, deliver uh, these excellent produce uh, to, to uh, other markets. Uh, we are a very proud sponsor of the National Fish, uh, Fish and Ship Award, uh, and I think uh, these people uh, uh, in this, uh, this part of the industry also will be very important uh, in, uh, in the seafood uh, consumption in the future. Uh, uh, and every year we take uh, the 10 finalists to the National Fish and Ship Awards on a fishing trip to Norway to show them uh, uh, the story about uh, uh, how they produce, uh, how the fish they use, the fillets they use in, in, in the shops are, are produced and to connect directly with the fishermen. And we see uh, when they come back to the UK, uh, they have a totally different story to tell to uh, uh, the people that come and buy uh, fish and chips. So this was the group that we took in uh, 2017, and a month ago we took uh, the 10 finalists for the National Fish and Ship Awards uh, in uh, January. So thank you.